Hey, I'm Pedder, and this is the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. And for the last 12 months, the majority of my gaming has happened here. I don't play mobile games, at least not on here. The only one I play on here is Fortnite, on occasion. I play console games. And a good 20-25% of those console games that I'm playing are on Xbox Game Cloud using the Xbox controller. Let's have a look and see how it works. One of the best, most simple features about using the Xbox controller to play Game Pass is as soon as it's paired to the device, once you've used it before and you've set it all up, just pressing the Xbox button in the middle there launches the Game Pass app. I mean, come on, tell me that's not dope. So you can see as soon as it launches up there, you do get all your games. So along here you have uh, you've got the new releases along the top, some recommended games there. Then you have all the games that you played previously. On this line, recently added, most popular. So obviously the ones that they want to push. It does make it a lot easier to find. At this point now, there's about 200 games on Game Pass. So it can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, it can be a bit difficult when you're looking for something to play and you can't decide what to play. So it is nice to see uh, the, the curated the list there at the top to help you try and find something. You even have a play grade on mobile and play with touch section as well, which I really do like and does come in handy. And EA have really cracked down on the amount of games that they've brought out on here lately. It used to be about five. And uh, now you've got Battlefield, Dirt 5, obviously since they acquired Codemasters, Formula 1, Madden. There's a whole lot on there and some of them do play well with touch, which is nice to see. What we're going to do is jump into uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Just to show you how the performance works, so how quick the game loads up. So I'm not going to speed anything up here. It does still stay, say beta at the bottom. It is a lot quicker now. They've moved some of the games to the Xbox Series X servers, um, but it's still not rapid. It does take a little while to load. But hey, once the game runs in, we'll... Uh, We'll show on there. I don't want to cut it out because I do want to show you how long it takes to load up. I'm not going to speed it up. Hence why I'm still talking and moving my hands so you know it's not a uh, a trick. The screen on the Tab S7 is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it is a high refresh rate screen, 120Hz. However, unfortunately, games only go up to 60 frames per second on Game Pass and other cloud gaming services as well. So you don't really see the full extent of that. However, Samsung do make some of the best panels going from TVs, monitors to tablets and phones. It is one of the, the big features they are kind of renowned for. We'll try and keep the controller in shot so you can see uh, the response time. They find it really weird that says nobody offline just there. Don't know if you can uh, make that out. It's a little bit out of focus because of the controller in shot. Let me just try and bring that into a better focus there. No, it's as good as it's going to get there, I think. I say I do think the new Xbox controllers are a vast improvement from the old ones and um, they just feel better in the hand. So you can see there straight away when we do come into the game the latency the response time was quite a bit higher than it is now. It's not great still but it is much better. You're just uh, standing there, watching and waiting. All right.
I'm trying to help you. Here we go. Where's he gone, mate? So my aim isn't perfect at the moment, that is because I am reaching around my uh, reaching around my tripod trying to get a view of the game um, in a bit of an awkward position. <laughs> but hopefully this will give you an idea of the uh, sort of style of play um, and how it works. There you go. Ooh. Thank you for watching. I'll leave the video here. I'm going to crack on and kill some Nazis. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy the video. Hit like, as it really does help out the channel. Let me know if you have any questions about Game Pass, or about the controller, or even about the tablet. I've got other videos on my tablet and more coming soon. In the meantime, take care.